start a little baby's house tour. Let's see. At Amazon, you'll find products that. Oh my god, let's see. Well, guys. I'm listening. I'm pretty sure he barely speaks English, but. What's up, AD? Welcome to my bachelor pad. Even that ball school game was crazy. So this is my home. I purchased this house a couple years ago and it looked nothing like this. I got my designer, Anissa, to come in and bring it to life. Is he gonna make music that, that could change the game again? I think once you change the game, I don't think you can ever the thing. Go a level higher. I gutted the whole house out completely. Everything in the house I kind of designed to my like. Growing up, I always aspired to have like crazy houses. Of course, I'm from Atlanta and this house in Atlanta. A lot of houses in Atlanta are not like this yet. They are building a lot of new houses. But from where I'm from, this is like a complete zero to a hurry. This is like my bachelor pad. So I have companies, some of the friends, some of my guys, and I also have like little parties, like, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Instead of renting out a place, we just use this house for that. So cool little living space. That's and crazy. A house for Mother's Day and Father's Day is insane. On the rock sofas, I got on the rock sofas at all my houses. Kind of like these sofas because they super comfortable and they're kind of low. You can move the middle part up and down. You can lay on it a bit. I sleep a lot. So this is why I catch a lot of Z's at when I'm here. I wanted to keep the house open so if like people in the kitchen. What was the other one called? MTV Cribs or something like that. What was the first one? People in the dining room, living room, showing pool, in the pool, wherever. Everybody still feel together. Originally this whole area was outside. The, the wall maybe stopped from right here. So I wanted them to open this up and expand it a little more. Put my nice pool table right here. Nice little pieces of art. I love this room too because all the doors open all the way up, so it give me the whole little outside feel. A lot of gambling goes on on this table, <laughs> pool, and a lot of other things. All right, now we're in the kitchen. I love the double island setup because of nine or ten of us, we all would just sit here. The kitchen is almost the meeting area. Drinking, eating. I got leather countertops. I like the black vibe versus like the traditional granite or like marble. I wanted to go like black because we do use it a lot and I don't want to like stain it as much as possible. This is my bachelor pad, so I don't cook here. I have a chef to come here and cook for us. But sometimes when I don't have a chef, my kids like want me to cook just something cool for us to do. The last thing I cooked for my kids was maybe like tacos last Tuesday, something like that. If I cook, it's going to be like something cool, like something for them. They could kind of help me out a little bit. So I have a few art pieces starting to get into it. This is a piece from a black Atlanta artist, Horace Impotip. Kind of just give me the vibe of a little young black boy, but in his eyes, a dream for the stars. My favorite part of the kitchen would have to be oh, like- That's actually, I thought that was, that was light shining on it. Oh. The Nana windows, it open all the way up. Then kind of gives you the whole inside, that's outside feel. And you're having like a pool party or people outside. They don't have to track water in the house and stuff. They can come here and get windows that fold like curtains. That's, that's they food from the chef. Something to drink, whatever may have it. These are my panel refrigerators to match all my cabinets and whatnot. Don't really have a lot of stuff in here because we hardly ever here. Water, a little Gatorade, just the minor stuff. I'm big on water. I drink a lot of water. You know. Lately, I've been in my Miami crib, so I haven't been here. The last time I was here was for my son's kindergarten graduation. He had a party with 30, 40 kids, and my family came over. I like to have parties here. This is the dining room, which is not for dining, because I love these chairs so much, and I don't want people to get comfortable just getting this dirty. So for now, this is just a, a statement piece. I have an Italian imported marble table front of Vitality Collection. And my designer actually came up with that. She designed this table one-on-one -on -one for me, so you won't see this table nowhere else. And she called it the Vitality because it looked like it has veins, like a 
human heart almost. And because they had to make the table, it took them an awful long time. I almost pulled the plug on the table and just got me a new table. But once it arrived, it was worth the wait, definitely. I got the lights put in on the floor to like resemble a rug. And right here we have the mirror panels from London. Each one was hand placed. I love this little setup. Is it just me or sometimes millionaires pay too much for what they have? Because I'm pretty sure you can find that table in a lot of places. Where they make marble and they just throw paint on it. I'm pretty sure. This is a little chill area. Mama chair. I have a few of these. I had a smaller one for my kids too. This is one of the places I can sit down and talk on the phone. Nobody don't sit over here but me. This is my primary wing. The glass doors on the closet. My two sons, Loyal and Jason. This is like an overflow closet. It's the summertime right now. These are like winter clothes, pants. And whenever I run out of space in one of the other cribs or something, I just bring my overflow stuff here. I have a lot of significant pieces in here, I'm sure. This right here is actually an outfit that I do. <laughs> All my clothes even fit in here. That's crazy. I think you're really black like that. I don't know. Clothes, I just buy whatever thing. So me honestly, I'm want to buy into the pit now. Let's buy it. I don't. Should we say I did want to buy a thing? No, right now. No, right. Now. I wore on tour every night. My last tour. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I frame this up and hang it. A couple of jerseys from different little states I go to to perform, and they give me jerseys. I like this closet setup though. I don't wear nothing in here. It looks what great though. What did you just say? I mean, they give me jerseys. I like this closet set up, though. I don't wear nothing in here. You have all them clothes, but you just don't wear it. That's crazy. That means it's literally what? For design. Ah, that's insane. It looks great, though. Sneak closet. And a lot of these shoes are shoes that I'm probably... Hold on. Let's say you're in Miami. Do you not have like a security in one of your houses? That's what I thought they did. I thought you have a for hour security in your house if you're not there. Even if you are there. Because why would you just leave shit? Leave shit in that house while you're in Miami with no one watching shit. I thought everyone did that. It's probably a crazy amount of money. Only billionaires probably do that. Not gonna wear again. Well, I will wear these. Very easy. Pay like five mil. Nah, five mil for all your houses. Let's say you have like five houses. A mil for five days security. And you just pay yearly. Basically paying for someone's estate. It wouldn't be crazy. Not the only, but one of the cool pieces in here. Mm. I used to bring my clothes when I come here to the point where the shoes are almost like art color coordinated. Just some little eye candy for when you walk in the bedroom. This is an infinity couch, which is so soft, feels like a cloud. As you can lay out on it, you know? Cool little vibe. In this area, I really love the light in here. I have to change sheer walls. A lot of stuff is like kind of art to me versus useful. And this is one of those places that when I walk in, it just looks super sexy to me. And this is where the magic happens at. I'm not here a lot, so a lot of magic don't happen in here. Fireplace, nice TV. I like the wall fixture. And I also love the ceiling. Kind of like a piece of jewelry imported from Italy. Nice little swing. I love this. The magic don't happen in here. Oh, it's just a normal TV. I thought they would put like, the Fireplace, TV nice TV. out of the wall and then, I don't know, some other shit, but. TV. I like the wall fixture and I also love the ceiling. Kind of like a piece of jewelry imported from Italy. Nice little swing, you know, ceiling. It probably has something like that. Shit just comes out of the wall and then it just, the TV appears or something, I don't know. Joint. I actually sit here a lot though. This is like a cool little chill spot to me. I like to move, I don't like to sit still. So even when I'm sitting down, I'm still moving. Magic can also happen right there too. Kanye would probably have like I don't know, sun come out the wall. 
I don't even know what, what you would do. So fanatic. Yeah. This is my bathroom, which I think personally is one of the most stunning parts of the house. Everything's super clean, like a nice hanging sink. I got a slits in the marble Ooh, for the water. Sink, man. I, I don't know, man. Because let's say you leave the water and can't it just overflow that easily? Let's just say. Go down. Crazy. Keep a double sink, you know? It's out my, my way. Or my See, you got what? what? You just finish the toilet and you just washing your hands. Uh, your way type of thing. My tub. Also imported from Italy. Weighs a couple tons. We actually had to get it lifted through the window for it to be able to go in here. Amazing tub. I haven't took a bath in here yet. One day I will though. What is that? Though? And this is my. Is it like a clay tub? It's probably clay. My shower, where I spend most of the time, believe it or not. The shower is where I can get a peace of mind, get my thoughts together, think about how I'm gonna knock all this money off, you know? So I can easily spend an hour in the shower. Nice shower, big enough, very relaxing. I love the window vibe, little LED vibe. Everything's super cozy in here. And then last but not least, I got the fireplace in the bathroom. I'm usually fireplace in a bathroom. Super cold when I get out, when I first wake up in the morning, I'm That's usually super crazy. cold. Yeah, cool. So I can come right here and check my messages. Fireplace in a bathroom. No, most people do hot showers. Wouldn't it be hot in a bathroom anyways? Uh, he's probably got air con in this shit. Is there what not? I love this bathroom where I get a lot of inspiration from the bathroom and the house. Oh, this is being an artist mm. eh. and going to different places. I just stayed in a lot of hotels, a lot of Airbnb. Like, let's say you're in your Miami house and you meet and you want to come back, or let's say you're in Miami, but you're not, no one's in this house, you're just going to leave it unattended. To, why wouldn't you just have security? Yeah, you have security with you, but would you just take security when you go to the house? That's what I never understood. Then when I come home, I don't got that same feeling. So I wanted to have that same feeling when I go to the nicest places in the world and how they bathrooms and how they houses look. And when I go to the nicest places in the world and how they bathrooms and how they Is this art? Is this art? What do you write? You wrote something there. But um, is this art? Is this a love you think? Houses look, I wanted to, you know, piggy out that a little bit. I think you wrote something there. You just, uh, this is my theater room. I want it to be different from my other theaters. These little cubbies, you can have your own little personal space. You actually can, two people can fit on here. So you got your little date, and I got y'all a little movie night. Y'all could be separate or y'all could be together. They also each have a little table, you know, like the movie theater. Popcorn machines and all that type of stuff in here. Sometimes I bring my portable studio where I could just like set it up right here. Just wrap inside of here. I got these like movie script posters all around the room, but this one is the most significant to me. This is the documentary of my life called Untrap. It's actually on Amazon Prime and you can go and see it. But that's the vibe of it when you come in movie the air now playing. And we got a couple more juice boys in this uh, Scarface, you know, got a little wet bar. I love candy. Scarf. I'm always stop watch Scarface. I'm full of candy everywhere. A little cooler. Nice little vibe. This is my backyard. My kids love You're swimming. See how much it's worth. They spend most of their time in the pool. Maybe I'll go for a swim today when I get my kids. Nice jacuzzi, nice seeing areas. I'm outside a lot. I do a lot of recreational things outside. And this is my basketball court. We spend a lot of time on the basketball court. A little exercise, a little work. I'm finna have a basketball court in my shit. For sure. For sure, I'm finna have a basketball court. That's how I think. My boss will call him that shit. For sure. No matter what. 
Because what well, having a football pitch, it, to me, you need to tend to it. Basketball court is easy. Basketball court, easy. What, the rim don't have to be tendered. Maybe the ground. No, the ground, not really. We'll have something to cover it, like a tent or something. I'm there for Workouts. A lot of money's been made here. And lost. People don't think I can play basketball. But I actually ain't that bad. And I'll be having a lot of kids, my little nephew, them, they little basketball cousins and stuff. So I wanted like three little hoops where they, everybody could use the whole court or use different courts or what. Call out, that looks crazy. That looks crazy. If you look at it from the outside, it don't look like there's nothing crazy. But not. This playground actually come from one of my old houses. In the future, I think I'll build me a gazebo over here or something. And this is another part of the backyard. Of course, if you're going to have a bachelor pad, you got to have a grill. The chef comes and get on the grill. This is actually more of my outdoor kitchen, I like to call it. The stove outside, dining table. I love this area. One of the only places that you're going to get shade in the backyard for real. So I definitely like this area. Take you a nap. The mosquitoes don't kill you. And it's definitely like a center space for me. I could watch the kids while they're in the pool. Chefs in there, people need me. I could kind of sit right here. This is like a midpoint for me outside. All right, AD, I appreciate y'all for coming to check out my bachelor pad. It's time for me to go save the world. Hopefully I'll catch you all next time at the family house. Is he really gonna show his family house? He won't see that. Who the ones is that? That would be interesting. Um, Kevin Hart and Devin Bacoff. Yeah, I think I've watched that. Mellow for apocalypse. It's actually crazy though.